Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a DIY for you. I picked up this resin kit from the Dollar Tree Plus section for $5 and we're gonna try it out and see how it works. I also bought some of this resin off of Timu and it didn't work very good, so I'm not recommending that. That's a UV, this one hardens in, with air. So here's the things you'll need. The resin kit, and it comes with part A and B in there. You'll definitely want rubber gloves. I have some glitter. Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree, it's big chunky glitter. And then I have some ultra fine that I bought, plus ooh, I have some gold. I hope you're seeing this. This I believe is the center. Um, you would want a heat gun of some sort. I bought this on Amazon for $10 and it works just fine for what I need. Popsicle sticks are handy. This is the one I made. The back I used the Dollar Tree and the front I used that UV and it's it doesn't work good. It's bumpy and not ideal. So that was just a tester. You'll want rubbing alcohol. This is great for cleanup of the resin, paper towels, some type of a measuring vessel. We'll get to that. Silicone molds. Um, I have this one that we're gonna make a coaster and then I've got this one and I just put the overflow in it before. And then, like I said, some type of vessels to mix in. These cups are great because they have the measurements on the sides because it is a one-to-one -one ratio. I also picked up at Wendy's some of these little cups because to do something like this, you just need a little bit. So I just grabbed those off Wendy's when I was in there getting coffee at the Tim Hortons. But so what we're going to do is mix up the base and I'm going to use it to make a coaster and to finish these. So on the back, I just mixed up some resin with some gold glitter. And these are just stickers on the front and these are acrylic keychain blanks. And so I'm gonna finish these off with any of the extra. I don't need this glitter. Now, I know that this takes about 60 grams. So I'm weighing mine instead of uh, measuring on the side. So what I will do is I have this little scale. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, let's see. Can you see it? Well, you can a little bit. Oh, you're also crooked. We'll straighten you out there. Okay, so it's on zero grams. Let me put my rubber gloves on. You don't, I mean, it recommends rubber gloves when you work with resin or epoxy. And I found it to be beneficial. So I just grabbed some Dollar Tree gloves, popsicle sticks, stir thingies, and also a pokey tool. That's my technical term for this, which I don't know where my other pokey tool went. I'll have to go look for it here in a minute. But the rubber gloves are good because if it touches your hands, it's all gross and sticky. And I only need this while I'm decanting it, basically. Hopefully, I have enough of this resin. That's what we're hoping, right? At least... 30 grams of each part. So what I'm doing is part A first, right? And then you're gonna mix it together. The directions are on the container. Also, if you have a pet like I do, just be super careful of the fur getting in here. If this doesn't come up to at least the amount of grams that I need, well, then we'll, I did buy some other other resin. So I think we're going to get just enough to do what we need to do. So I'm just pouring equal parts. So that's the thing. If you're doing measurements like quarter of a cup or mLs or whatever, you want equal parts of both of these. So this is part A, like I said.
All right, so I have an equal amount of both and we're gonna stir real slow. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. We're trying to keep as many bubbles out of this as possible. So I'm just gonna stir it like this for a minimum of three minutes. I took my gloves off, so that's okay. You just don't want a ton of bubbles, and that's what the heat gun is to help with, too. Also, if you see there's a little gold glitter, it's spilled in there, so I'm just going to leave it. Right? Because that's what we do. And it's going to get milky, and then it will go back to clear. They sell uh, stirs for this, too, like an automatic. You just pour all your ingredients, and it stirs it. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I got it stirred for three minutes. There's a little bit of bubbles in here, but not terrible. Sometimes I just like to tap it down. Now, the first project is this, and there was already some gold glitter in there, so we're just gonna let the gold glitter do its thing. I'm just doing a little tiny bit of gold glitter on the front. And this glitter is everywhere. Okay, now what we're gonna do is slowly pour some of this in to fill this mold as best we can, just mostly around the edges. Okay. And you wanna work on silicone. Like that's one thing you wanna do because it will peel off of the silicone, right? So this is a silicone mat from the Dollar Tree. The resin is workable for a small amount of period of time, you know. But what I wanna do, the last time I didn't get it all down in this vessel here, all right. And then we're going to turn on the heat gun. And that just is going to bring some bubbles to the surface. I see a few more. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm doing it. Okay, now I'm gonna use a sticker because I'm making a Pelotonia um, coaster. You don't wanna use paper stickers. This is like a plastic sticker, right? It's not paper. And then we're just gonna sit it down in here and I'm gonna try my darndest to get it centered, right? And as flat as I can. Will it be completely centered? Potentially. And I'm gonna put a little more. On top. Right, we're just trying to Get that covered and back into the center. And now we're gonna do this one more time. Okay. Okay, in the center. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle some glitter on the back. And I don't want a ton. I'm not trying to make this like opaque here. Just some coordinating. 
You could also use a makeup brush for this, but this is extra fine glitter. So it's just going, okay. Or we're gonna get a whole lot in that one spot. And move it around a little bit. I mean, it's fine. However the glitter ends up is fine. Is it ideal? No. I'll fix it. Okay. But we also need some blue. Here, I'm going to put some in my, ooh, way too much. But we're just going to do it like that, right? Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna put the rest on here. Okay, and one more. Okay, so that is done. And all I'm gonna do is slide it right over here. And then the last thing I'm gonna do with this clear is cover the tops of these. And I'm hoping you're able to see what I'm doing here. You should be able to, yeah, okay. So then we're just gonna take, there's a little glitter in here. It's fine. So, and there's a lot of glitter, there's a lot of left of resin, so. But I just want to move it around. This black cat that I'm doing is actually a rub-on transfer from the Dollar Tree. Cool, huh? Oops. Okay, well that was a lot. And then I'm just taking and we're giving it out to the edges. right here and I can also use a popsicle stick if I want anything you want and the cool thing is it's thick enough that it um, you can push it around and it won't over flood as long as you don't put too terribly much in there and it will self level a little bit which is nice as well. So I am just attempting to smudge that over. And if you get some on the sides, Q-tips work well with some rubbing alcohol. Right, so I got that pretty good and then we're just gonna level it out a little bit and make sure yeah we have it where we want it and I'm going to continue on to do all the others and I will be back all right, we are done. Here's the pokey tool I like to use. I think it's for cake decorating, but because it's all smooth, when the resin dries, I can just pluck it off. I also spilled glitter, but I picked that up, you know, glitter. So what we have now is I have clean hands. I'm not gonna move or touch anything. This one here got a lot of extra in the hole. There's a key ring hole here. And it also got some on the back, 
So I'm trying to move this one maybe, I don't know. It's gonna end up with glitter all over it. What you don't wanna do is get it like on other surfaces. So I'll come back and clean that up with um, rubbing alcohol in a minute. We don't want it to set, right? I also need to get a larger silicone mat. All of this silicone here that has been spilled over, it will, oh, this one's another one that got gooky underneath it. Well, I'll clean off this silicone mat and get these set up here. But for right now, I'll leave them sit there, but I'm gonna clean that side off so I can, I don't want the back sides to get gross. Here is what it's gonna look like, and I'll show you these when they're finished, but this is a coaster I did with the silk, with just the Dollar Tree resin. I think it turned out pretty good. It's, it's wet, because I just got it waste with my hands. You wanna pop these out in 24 hours and let them sit to cure. They'll be soft when you pull them out, but once you, um, once you pull them out, they harden up. You just have to let them sit and dry for a few days. So I'm going to clean up this mess. And when it's 24 hours later, I will show you what they look like. We have them finished. Look at that. Guys, I'm obsessed. Ooh. There is a little bit of lint on these. Um, so here's the thing. I didn't fill this one quite full. Ooh, hope you're seeing it. And I filled this one completely full and they look much different. So you really want to fill those molds all the way to the top. And then on this one, I put the glitter. And this one has the chunky glitter in it. This was the first one I ever did. Sorry for the glare. Now on these, I feel like that turned out good on the front side. That's the sticker. On the back, do you see here where it's a little flat? I overfilled it and it sat and it's some more resin and now it's flat on the back. See that the white cast? The same thing happened on this one. I over flooded the front and also that's not a good sticker to you. So we learned that it over flooded and so it seeped through on the back. You just have to be very careful on these ornament or on these um, keychains, how much you fill. This one I did a really good job. So the back is still pretty shiny and the front is very clear. I'm trying to get a better view for you. It's very clear and it has a good shine. I love that one, that one, and then look at this black cat. Um, the black cat is rub off transfer from the Dollar Tree. You know, the ones you rub. And it was a little flat and I was worried. But as soon as I put the epoxy over, look how shiny it is. Oh, that one is super cute. And I didn't over flood that one. So it's practice, you know. Practice makes perfect. So I will make keychains out of these. And they'll be my floss drops. And I'm taking this to work. To put on my desk because it's my coaster and listen they're set up and they will get harder you know over the next couple days you just want to be gentle with them so i hope you enjoyed